Back in some mild temperatures tonight as we only fall into the lower 60s, just a couple clouds trying to work their way back in. And as we get into tomorrow, I'm tracking a little bit better chance to see a couple spotty showers and storms. Otherwise, it's going to be a warmer and a little bit more humid day as temperatures climb into the mid 80s. The humidity starts to creep up a little bit more towards afternoon. Here's a look at the ABC 17 storm track radar tonight. We are keeping an eye on a couple showers and storms that have developed just to the south of the I-44 corridor. Some of this could start drifting into areas along I-44, including Phelps and Pulaski counties over the next few hours. You'll see that here on the future track that could happen as soon as around 10 or 11 o'clock, but not expecting too much of that to make its way north tomorrow into the morning into the afternoon though different story with a little bit more humidity we will have a bit more instability to trick a trigger a couple of those spotty showers and storms during the day if you get underneath one of these probably going to have some thunder and lightning perhaps up to around a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain but most of us end up staying dry as these work their way in now by thursday i'll be tracking a weak front that moves through that's going to bring a big drop in the humidity those dew points will be dropping down into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees on friday we'll continue to start off the weekend with low humidity too. So it's going to be beautiful to kick off our holiday weekend. Great pool weather. If you want to get outside on Saturday, we're up to about 80 Sunday around 84 and then we start creeping up into the upper 80s by Memorial Day. Here's the ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast. We are tracking a nice dry stretch after tomorrow. Most of the weekend looking quiet, but as we head into next week, we're getting back into the upper 80s.